For question one, we want to consider the following figure. For part A, in the capacity dimension calculation for the set in the figure, what is epsilon? Epsilon, in the capacity dimension calculation, is the side length of each box. As labeled here, each box is 0.25 wide, so the answer to this is 0.25. For part B, we want to know what n epsilon is. Recall that n epsilon in this calculation is the number of boxes of size epsilon needed to cover the set. Notice here, if you count the blue boxes, you need 12 boxes to cover the Julia set, so the answer is 12. For the remainder of the questions, we'll be considering this plot. This is a log-log plot of 1 over epsilon versus x of epsilon. For question 2, we want to consider the power law x epsilon scales like 1 over epsilon to the nu. We know that this power law holds in the scaling region of this curve. Using this information, how would we then approximate nu given this curve? We could approximate nu given this power law and this plot using the slope of a line fitted to the curve in region B. For question 3, considering the same figure on this type of plot, region B is called A scaling region. For question 4, we want to delve into what is causing the three different regions in this figure. Region B is the scaling region, and the shape of this part of the curve is due to the power law relationship. This is the actual region we care about on this plot. Regions A and C are numerical side effects of the algorithm. Region A is being caused by epsilon being too large. In this case, the entire set is being covered by a single epsilon ball. In region C, on the other hand, epsilon is too small. And in this case, each point is being covered by a single epsilon ball. Regions A and C are numerical artifacts of the algorithm and not important to this calculation. Region B, the so-called scaling region of this power law relationship, is usually what you care about when dealing with this kind of plot.